Hi ladies, I'm so excited to share five denim trends that will be completely out of style in 2024. I get this question a ton and you guys would be kind of surprised about a few of these denim trends that are gonna be completely out of style. In fact, denim trend number five is honestly the most unflattering denim trend. It is one that I have always hated. I don't know about you, so I will be anxious to hear if you agree with me and think that denim trend number five that is totally out of style in 2024 is as unflattering as I think it is. And along with these denim trends that are out of style, I will also be sharing five amazing denim trends that will be huge in 2024. And denim trend number five is honestly the most universally flattering style of denim on the market, hands down. Okay, denim trend number one that is gonna be completely out of style and it's been on its way out for a while and I hope I don't get any hate from this one but that is the low rise skinny jean. This has kind of been a controversial topic in the fashion world. Some people say like, I disagree. I still love my low rise skinny jeans. And if that's you, guess what? That's okay. Wear what you love and wear what makes you happy. By no means am I trying to tell you what you should and shouldn't wear. I'm just sharing the denim trends that are out of style and things that you can wear to feel better about yourself and hopefully look and feel a bit more stylish. But definitely the low rise skinny jean on its way out of style if it isn't already. And instead of that, I would replace it with the high-waisted modern skinny jean. So I wear this style of denim with sneakers. I love the style of denim with knee-high boots and ankle boots. It's honestly a pretty versatile style of denim, but just so you make sure, you know, pick the high-waisted over the low-waisted, or you could do a mid-rise over the low-rise. That will make it look a bit more in style and a bit more stylish. And instead of choosing this super tight jegging jean, I would go for like more of that modern slim fitting tapered leg, which is what I mean when I say the modern skinny jean. So to me, the black A gold E Riley's are a perfect example of what the modern skinny jean is. These are not a low rise jegging jean. These are not a super tight jean in the leg. They are a slim fitting tapered leg. They're also a high waisted denim silhouette. And what that's going to do is make your legs look longer and make you look taller and slimmer. So love the A gold E Riley. It's also another style of denim you can wear with sneakers, you can wear with boots, and you can even and wear with heels. So I paired these jeans with this beautiful cashmere sweater. This one is from Club Monaco. I'm pretty sure it's on sale. I love wearing cashmere in the fall and winter. It's so soft and so cozy. And then I just went with a really cool black studded belt. And these are some fabulous gunmetal boots. They do have a block heel. So they're extremely comfortable and extremely wearable. And like I said, you can see that these ankle boots fit perfectly underneath the A Gold E Riley's. Now, if you didn't wanna go with a high-waisted denim silhouette, you could do a mid-rise. So this is the mid-rise skyscraper from Express. It is a light wash. I love wearing light wash in the spring and summer, but you can certainly wear light wash in the fall and winter, you guys. The Express Skyscraper, if you've watched any of my videos, you probably know I'm a big fan of this denim silhouette because it's so flattering. Because of the floor skimming hemline and the mid-rise, they will honestly give you like model-esque legs. They will make your legs look longer. They will make you look taller. They're very flattering on almost any body type. And for like $50, you seriously can't go wrong. I paired him with a simple ivory turtleneck. This is also very reasonably priced, very soft, perfect for fall and winter. And then this is a fabulous tan blazer. It's a bit on the cropped side. It's wrinkle free. It's very high quality, but because it's from Express, it doesn't break the bank. Okay, denim trend number two that is completely out of style in 2024 is the low rise baggy jean. So we actually thought that was gonna be like a big deal, but you know what? It didn't really take on. Some of these denim trends that you think are gonna be huge and maybe you see a few celebrities wearing them, they just don't take on. The consumers aren't buying this denim trend. You really aren't seeing this denim trend a whole lot out on the street. So even though we thought it was gonna be a big trend, it's really not and it's definitely gonna be out of style in 2024. So instead of choosing the low rise baggy jean, what I would choose instead 
is the high-waisted wide leg jean. Now this is a really great denim silhouette and I will tell you why. Because of the wide leg paired with the high waist, that is what is key when picking wide leg denim. I really don't recommend wearing wide leg denim if they are a low rise because they're just not gonna be that flattering. They're gonna give you a little bit of that frumpy vibe and honestly, who wants that? So these are fantastic jeans. They're by Alice and Olivia. They are a high-waisted um, denim silhouette. I just shot these jeans last week for my blog. They're so flattering. They make your legs look miles long. I love this vintage inspired light wash. Perfect for all year round. They're also very comfortable and they do hold their shape really well. I paired them with a simple ivory bodysuit and then you guys, how cool is this denim and gold cropped jacket? I love this jacket. I was in Nordstrom the other day shopping around and I stumbled upon this really cool jacket. It honestly reminds me of like a premium designer jacket. I think maybe Isabel Morant did a jacket similar to this one, but instead of being like $600, this one is under $100. And trust me when I say, it looks way more expensive than that in person. And I always love a wide leg denim styled with a cropped jacket or a fitted top, because what this is going to do is it's going to create balance in your look. So you wanna keep the top portion of your body fitted when wearing wide leg denim, just a little pro denim style tip. Now, if you didn't want to go with wide leg denim, you could choose the barrel leg jean. This is definitely going to be reigning supreme in 2024. What this means is, is it's a wide leg denim, but it has a tapered leg at the bottom, which makes it very flattering. And of course, it is very high waisted. These are by Frame Denim. Frame is one of my absolute favorite denim brands. Let me know what your favorite denim brand is. I always love hearing from you guys, and I think it would be really cool if we all kind of commented down below. Another one of my favorite denim brands is A Gold E and of course Express. But these jeans are fantastic because of the high waist and again they have that barrel leg that's tapered at the ankle. This is also more of a medium to light wash so you can definitely wear these all year round. I paired them with a simple ivory bodysuit keeping my shirt tucked in to create balance and accentuate my waist. And then this is a really great camel faux leather puffer jacket. You guys, winter time, we're definitely needing puffer jackets. And this one is really beautiful. It is a gorgeous camel shade. It is, I think it's under $100. So what a steal for such a fantastic jacket that's guaranteed to keep you warm this winter, but also it will help you look incredibly stylish. All right, denim trend number three that is out of style in 2024 is overly ripped jeans. So we saw this, you know, the last few years and it has definitely been dwindling out the last like say nine months or so. You really don't see that many people wearing them. And anytime I do see someone wearing overly ripped denim, I just kind of think to myself, huh, pretty sure those are like on their way out. So if you wanna look stylish, if you wanna look modern, I would say ditch the overly ripped jeans. And if you wanna wear ripped denim, that's totally fine. I still love wearing ripped jeans, but I would just go for a pair that are minimally ripped or no rips at all. So again, I wanted to show you guys these Alice and Olivia high-waisted wide leg jeans because I really think that is gonna be like one of the top denim silhouettes that will be really popular in 2024 and I just love these jeans. This time I paired them with that same ivory bodysuit and then this is a great Levi's faux fur ivory jacket. I love this jacket, it's cozy, it's warm, it's glamorous. I just feel amazing when I wear faux fur in the fall and winter which is why I wear it a ton. In fact, I just did a video titled Don't Dress Your Age and I talked a lot about what to wear if you're over 40, over 50, over 60, etc. And really the main thing is always wear things that make you feel joyful, always wear things that make you happy, because at the end of the day, you are in charge of your own happiness and what you wear definitely impacts your mood. So choose things that make you feel like the best version of yourself. And that is exactly what this fabulous ivory faux fur jacket does for me. It just makes me feel happy and joyful. Okay, denim trend number four that is out of style. This one also might be a little controversial and it's actually a denim trend that's in style right now, but I honestly think it's on its way out and it is the cargo jean. I'm just kind of over the cargo jean. And to be honest, I was never really a big fan of the cargo jean. I did own a few pairs, I still do, but I find myself not wearing them because like I said, I kind of think they're on their way out. 
So instead of the cargo jean, I would opt for a cuffed denim silhouette. A Goldie has done a fantastic job making cuffed denim. I love these gray jeans by A Gold E. They are a wider leg with a cuffed hem, which is really cool, very on trend. It is a high-waisted denim silhouette as well. So even though they're on the baggier side, they're still very flattering. They hold their shape really well, and I'm really loving this gray denim silhouette. It's very universal. It goes with so many different things. I've owned my gray jeans for probably maybe two months or so, and honestly, I wear these jeans all the time. I paired it with a simple gray bodysuit, and then this is a fabulous faux leather chocolate brown bomber jacket. You guys, I love this jacket. Bomber jackets are having a huge moment this fall and winter, but they will definitely still be in style in 2024. I love the fact that this one is a bit cropped, again, pairing really well with these high-waisted cuffed jeans. And the price point on this bomber jacket is really good too. It's such a great casual jacket. It just gives off that effortless vibe, which I love so much. Another denim silhouette that's reigning supreme that you could wear instead of the cargo jeans is the high-waisted straight leg denim silhouette. This is one of my favorite denim silhouettes to wear because it's very flattering. These are the Mother Tomcat jeans. They're in a solid black denim, which is very universal, very wearable, very functional. If you don't already own a pair of fabulous black jeans, you definitely need to add some to your wardrobe, especially in the fall and winter. I wear black denim a lot, and these Tomcat jeans by Mother pair really well with ankle boots. So that's another thing that I think you need in your winter wardrobe is a pair of denim you can wear with ankle boots, and these are perfect jeans that will fit over your ankle boots very nicely. These ankle boots are my most worn ankle ankle boots in the fall and winter. These are by Veronica Beard. They do have a three inch heel and a pointy toe. And both of those things are gonna make your legs look crazy long. I did a gorgeous gray cashmere sweater. This is Nordstrom's cashmere, you guys. It's so high quality. However, the price point is amazing. It's such a steal for a real cashmere sweater. It's so soft. And I don't know about you, but I love wearing cashmere in the fall and winter. And then I just topped it with this really cool olive green satin bomber jacket. It's pretty thick, so it's a great jacket to wear in the fall and winter. If you don't live somewhere super cold like me, I live in Dallas. And it also pairs really well over this fabulous cashmere sweater. Okay, denim silhouette number five. That is the most unflattering, so thank God it's going out of style. And actually, I think it's been out of style for a while. Some of you might disagree with me, and that's okay, but that is the cropped flares. Now listen, like I said, some people might argue with me and say, Heather, I still see people wearing these. I'm not so sure they're out of style. Well, you know what? I kind of disagree. That's why I'm here, right? Number one, they're super unflattering. I think you have to be like six feet tall and weigh like 110 pounds to be to look good in cropped flares. That's just me. I can't wear them. I don't look good in them. And I honestly don't think many people do. So I'm kind of glad this denim silhouette is on its way out of style. And instead of the cropped flares, what you should replace them with and what's really going to be big this year and next year is the high-waisted flare. And that is definitely the most universally flattering style of denim on the market, hands down. So these are one of my favorite pairs of high-waisted flares jeans. These are by Le Jeans, and they're a really gorgeous charcoal gray denim color. This is a little bit more unique than say a regular blue denim. So if you get kind of tired of wearing blue jeans, like I do sometimes, I love wearing charcoal gray denim. I think it's just a great color of denim that goes with so many different things. These jeans do have a little bit of stretch in them, so they're very comfortable, but they also hold their shape really well. And because of this flare floor skimming silhouette, they're gonna do a great job of making your legs look longer and you look slimmer. I wanna show you two ways to wear these jeans. Number one is with this gorgeous burgundy turtleneck sweater by Good American. I love this sweater, it's cozy, it's soft, and I think turtleneck sweaters are just sophisticated and polished, and you always just seem to look put together when you have on a turtleneck paired with a jacket. So this is the matching beautiful burgundy blazer also by Good American. I love the burgundy on burgundy. This was one of my top selling blazers. It is faux leather, so the price point is amazing. It also comes in black you guys this blazer is insane like literally the quality is so high 
It cuts in at the waist, just like a well-structured blazer should be cut. And I really love this burgundy shade, especially in the fall and winter. Now, another way to wear these charcoal gray jeans is with this camel blazer. This one is a beautiful camel blazer by Legence. I love the gold luxe buttons. And by the way, ladies, gray and camel is a unique color combination that is always gonna look luxurious and always gonna look expensive. The final and third way to style these fabulous charcoal gray jeans is with this stunning red jacket. You guys, this is a crop jacket. I love it. It's by ALC. It's a little bit of a you know, different vibe because I typically don't wear red, but red is a huge color right now. It's trending really hard and it does just make me happy when I wear the color red. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna wear this jacket because I just think it's fun and I did feel really good when I wore it. And I think it looks really great with these amazing charcoal gray jeans. So those were the five denim trends out of style along with the five denim trends that are gonna be reigning supreme in 2024. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what your favorite look was because I always love hearing from you guys. For more style information, you can head over to my blog, SoHeather.com, and on Instagram, I'm SoHeatherBlog. And if no one has told you yet today, I love you, I'm so grateful for you, and I wish you a very beautiful and blessed day. I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.